Welcome to the McGregor Fence video guide on how to install angle iron posts. If you have another type of post, such as a round metal post, wooden post, or are interested in using trees as posts, please see our other videos outlining how to do this. The tools and materials you will need to put your angle iron post into the ground are the post itself, a manual post driver, a short step ladder, a tape measure, a carpenter's level, and some scotch tape. Please note that you will probably want to put some of your posts into cement footings. This video does not cover cement footings, and if you'd like to learn more about them, please see our other video titled, Installing Cement Footings. Begin by placing a piece of tape at your desired insertion depth. If your fence is a standard 7 feet tall, and you have 9 foot posts, then place your tape 2 feet up them. If you have 10 foot posts, place it 3 feet up them. This tape serves as an indicator for when your posts are at the right depth and will save you a lot of time when driving them in. Next, lay your post down so that you may slip your post driver over the top of your post. Be sure that it is the top and not the bottom. The top has holes for attaching top wire and the bottom does not. Now, ascend your step ladder with post in hand and move it to your desired position. Look to see that the post is standing as straight as it can. Then, lift the post driver and bring it down in a swift, solid motion. Be careful, because the driver can seriously injure someone's fingers. Drive the post about a foot into the ground, and then stop. Now is a good chance to use your carpenter's level to ensure that your post is standing up straight. Once you have confirmed that your post is indeed straight, continue using the manual post driver. Keep a keen eye on the tape while you are driving the post in. When the tape touches the ground, you have reached your desired insertion depth, and your post should be standing solidly. Congratulations! You have now successfully put your post into the ground. Now we need to give the posts extra support at corners, gates, and ends. You can now move on to the next step of installation, which is installing your earth anchors.